Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have US history special. This one's about the 4th of July. So I know it is the Independence Day of the United States, but I don't know what is the history behind it. I know like they were the British and then they were the, the, the guys who were colonized who fought the British and then they were free. They get to create the USA. But let's see how it all began. But before we start, please do not forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm John Green. This is Crash Course U.S. History, and today we're going to talk about July 4th, which in the United States is known as Independence Day. This is the day that Americans celebrate our independence mm -hmm. from Great Britain by doing what we do best, blowing stuff up, offering significant <laughs> discounts on mattresses, driving long distances for uncomfortable family interactions. Wait a minute. Are there discounts? I didn't know about a discount. I didn't buy anything. I gotta go online before the day passes. ...and eating a lot of grilled meat. Right, so the story goes that the founders of this nation signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, parting ways with King George to found the freest, finest nation on the face of the earth. Yeah, except the Continental Congress actually approved a resolution of independence on July 2nd. The Lee Resolution was proposed by Richard Henry Lee of Virginia in June of 1776 and was a simple legal declaration of separation from England. John Adams got so excited about it that he wrote to his wife Abigail, The second day of July 1776 will be the most memorable epic in the history of America. I so, that obviously wasn't the case because I don't know how they went from 2nd of July to 4th of July, but... Before we continue, let's just imagine that I know all of these names, even though that I wasn't born in America. I don't know. It. I don't know much about U.S. history, so let's just get in with the history. So, like the names are probably important, but let's go with the history. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the Great Anniversary Festival. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other, from this time forward forevermore. So what happened on the 4th? Well, not that much, actually. The Declaration of Independence was the formal announcement of independence, and its text was approved on July 4th, 1776. The fancy parchment version with all the pretty calligraphy wouldn't get drawn up until July 19th, and most members of the Congress signed the Declaration on August 2nd. Adams may have been wrong about the date, but he was definitely right about the celebration. For Americans sure, started sure. celebrating the 4th of July as early as 1777, oh. and as Adams predicted, the holiday was observed with feasts, 13 gun salutes, and fireworks. Why don't we those 13 guns commemorate the 13 states? Because I think there was nine, was it nine or 13 colonies? Oh, my history, my US history is all mixed up in my head. I'm not sure about it. Call them illuminations anymore, Stan. You know, people can say like, oh, we put a man on the moon and we can refrigerate our meat now, but I miss the old days. Anyway, in 1778, George Washington celebrated the 4th by giving his soldiers a double ration of rum, and also there was much more shooting than usual. But while the people celebrated the anniversary from the beginning, the federal government took its sweet time in formalizing the holiday. Independence Day became an unpaid holiday for federal employees in 1870 and became a paid day off in 1938. Fourth of July observances have evolved over the years, but they generally involve patriotic displays, including decorations, fire, and explosives. Essentially, we celebrate our independence by having a one-day fake war each summer. Huzzah! Ah, freedom tinnitus. Early observances were marked by huge bonfires, but the litigious nature of modern American society has greatly reduced the number of bonfires. However, we still have a... What is bonfire? What is the difference between bonfire and fireworks? Or is it the same? I'm not sure. A lot of fireworks on the 4th of July. Many cities and towns across the country sponsor fireworks displays on the 4th. New York's fireworks display is the largest in the nation. Despite the grandeur of these officially sanctioned displays, many, many individuals across the nation feel the need to blow stuff up on their own in their yards. Because, you know, 
they have all of their fingers, uh, that seems like too many. Many states have restricted the sale and personal use of fireworks, freedom haters, but would-be patriots find their way to marginal neighborhoods every year to buy fireworks out of the backs of vans. In my neighborhood, these personal pyrotechnic celebrations start in about mid-May and continue well into August, causing my dog to have a very stressful summer. John wow. Adams' prediction about gunfire holds true as well. On most military bases, 50 gunshots, one for each state, are fired at mm. noon on July 4th as a salute to the Union. And in Stan's neighborhood, where you go to buy the fireworks out of the backs of vans, celebratory gunfire is common throughout the year. Here is an actual bullet hole in Stan's actual window. Stan, can we get the Libertage again? Okay. In the 19th century, many ex-presidents celebrated the 4th of July by dying. Both really? Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on July 4th, 1826, and James Madison- Wait, did they, did they die the same day? Who, who, who was they again? by dying. Both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on July 4th, 1826, and James Madison died on the 4th of July in 1831. Calvin Silent Cal Coolidge was born on July 4th, 1876, but as he was never demonstrably alive, no one really cares that much. Finally, lest we forget, Americans also celebrate the 4th of July by eating. Millions Absolutely. of Americans host cookouts to celebrate independence, and the greatest spectacle in professional sports happens every year on the 4th of July. Really? I am referring, of course, to the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. The oh. current world record is 68 HDBs, hot dogs and buns, in 10 minutes. That means the world record holder, Joey Chestnut, consumed about 28,500 calories in 10 minutes. But don't worry, oh. he threw it up shortly thereafter. So happy 4th of July from all of us hold here. On, hold on, hold on. 68 HDBs, hot dogs and buns, in, in 10, 10 minutes. minutes. That means the world record holder, Joey Chestnut, wow. consumed about 28,500 calories in 10 minutes. minutes. But don't worry, he, he threw it up shortly thereafter. So happy 4th of July from all of us here at Crash. Where did he find the space in this tiny stomach to fit 68 hot dogs? In 10 minutes, man. Of course, we may not celebrate American independence on the right day, but I would argue that in spite of it all, it's still worth celebrating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Boop! Crash Course is produced and directed. I like his videos. I may do more of his videos, but also about the second and the fourth. I think the, he said like the, the team was drafted on the second, but was only approved on the fourth. I think they celebrated on the fourth because even though it was drafted on the second, if it wasn't approved, there would have been no independence. So it kind of makes sense why they celebrate on the fourth. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've learned something. I got some new names that I have to look up to. Madison, Adams, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. I, already, I know Thomas Jefferson. I think there's a, there's a, is it a play? Is it called a play or a musical about him? I think it's on Disney, if he's still there. But yeah, I'm going to check him out. All right, guys, if you guys want me to check something else, please do not forget to leave a comment down below and tell me what you want me to check next. And if you're still here, do not forget to leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, comment. I'm going to see next and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time, peace out.